The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Adafruit is a part of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things that you need on digikey.com. And uh, I didn't get you that screenshot, but this is, okay. from, our, this is from a request. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is a request uh, you saw on social media. Uh, Jeremy Cook asked, uh, is there such a thing as an SMT screw terminal block? Uh, and got some responses, uh, some of which were um, not screw terminal blocks. So um, let's uh, let's show what a terminal block normally is, because we've we've covered lots of terminal blocks. So a terminal block normally looks computer? like this. Oh yeah, go to my computer. Sorry. Um, it goes looks like this, and it's a through hole soldering thing. And then on the top, there are these screws, Phillips or flathead, and you screw it to lift up. Um, the this like pinching piece that then attaches the wire. She's a very, 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 very common. Uh, they're great when you just have raw wires, uh, stranded, solid. They can easily handle multiple amps of current, very high voltages, um, classic uh, wire to board connector. Um, but the one thing is that you do need to have to through hole solder them. And so um, let's go to the overhead and I'll show an example. So this is um, a relay board, and uh, this is a prototype, an earlier prototype, and you can see that it's got uh, these terminals here soldered, and you can see like I hand soldered them in um, in order to connect to the relay. And that, you know, there's a couple of reasons why you might not want to have through hole terminal blocks. One, if this is high voltage, now you have a high voltage exposed that somebody could touch or if they're on a metal uh, table, it could get shorted out. You don't want that. Um, but also manufacturing wise, if you're not handling very high torque, like if you're not, people aren't really twisting it, then, um, and they're, they're fairly gentle. Um, this is an extra step that might require hand soldering or selective or wave soldering, or there might be components on the other side that you want to not interfere with. Um, so having SMT, um, Terminal blocks could be very handy. So, a uh, good question. So, I thought let's go to DigiKey and uh, well, let's, let's see. You're like, does such a thing exist? Well, if it existed, DigiKey would stop it, right? So, let's go to the computer and we'll see. So, we're going to look for terminal blocks. That's what these are called. Um, and uh, there's a couple of different ones. There's like the headers, plugs, and sockets, and then there's the uh, wire to board. But this is the same group. So, we're just going to click on terminal blocks it looks similar to what we're looking for so yeah these are the standard through hole terminal blocks oh no there's like ones that have a little push button instead of screws um so you know even though like they're often called screw terminal blocks they may have pushy pushy in parts um okay so first up let's look only at active ones because we don't want to find something and then be disappointed you can't actually get it next Let's go to stacked so you can see. I got the screenshot by the way. Oh, you want to go to it real fast or? Oh, there you go. This is the question. Hopefully they exist. We're going to find out. Yeah. Uh, 30,000 views, but not yeah. Not the same as a video custom made for you. Okay. Okay. So back to the uh, back to the computer. Okay. So under mounting type, this is where the action comes. So you notice that there's a couple uh, variations here and a few of them uh, look promising this one and then you option click and get the other one to surface mount we're going to ignore the panel mount through hole it's actually uh like 500 options which is great uh, i don't know the pitch that they wanted um but i'm gonna you know assume it doesn't really matter so the most popular one and some people did mention it and the least expensive is going to be uh wago smd terminal blocks so these are like 50 cents in quantity and um, this is, you know, it's it's not a screw terminal block. It's like a push type. Let's see if I can get the. Okay. Um, they look like this. And then let's see if we can get the bottom. I'm just, there's no photo in the bottom. Um, there's two uh, pads here. That you solder in so it's it's got like two very long pads for mechanical strength because there isn't um any mounting bosses and then uh wires go in uh the holes here and then these are the little push 
um, buttons that you use to uh, release wire. So if you go to the overhead, I actually give an example. So we've used these uh, in this uh, motor MOSFET driver. Uh, this is what I've got here. These are WAGO blocks. So you can see um, they are mechanically very strong. They do take wires of uh, various sizes, including, um, you know, even wires with, uh, with ends on them. So you can push them in. And now this is, you know, fairly solid. And then, you know, you would have to press this to release. So you know, should focus too. So you uh, can push a wire in, although you can also press and uh, that, you know, that opens up the, the slot. And then um, if you want to remove it, you can press, ideally you press with something like a pen. Get a pen. Or a, a, there's, I'm sure there's an official tool, but I like to use a pen. The only thing is, and I'll tell you that this, it, you know, it, it hasn't happened to me as long as you're using official WAGO uh, blocks is that if you do overheat these, if you put them in a lead free process and you overheat them, um, they can become a little brittle. And we, you know, we've had um, early when we use these, we overheated the oven to get, you know, we wanted to make sure that our board got a good reflow. These got a little brittle and then this piece broke off. Hasn't happened to us once we've like tweaked the oven profile, but it is something to watch for. Okay, so back to the computer. Um, so you can get these uh, Wago blocks um, in a variety of sizes. They have like one, two, and three. They're fairly inexpensive. You know, you're not going to get anything as inexpensive as a. Um... Oh, and then these are getting interesting. These Mets connectors. Never seen these before. These are kind of cool. Um, they come in different pitches. I think it's just five oh five uh, oh eight millimeter sorry this is eight millimeter this is three millimeter so they do come you know they don't come in like 2.5 but they come in like your standard pitches and they usually they also have individuals i'll say they don't come in like very wide numbers you'll have to you, you put them next to each other if you need a long run however this is not what the person asked for they asked for screw type not push button type and i'm assuming that they actually care so if you go over here under wire termination you'll see that there's actually screw and screw list. So we actually want screw type. So let's look at those. And let's look also at uh, normally stocking. Make sure that they're available. And then um, we'll look at, uh, you know, at lowest to highest pricing. So there are, um, you know, SMT mount terminal blocks. And there's two that I found and one, you know, they're both good. This one, um, you can see, you know, the nice long wires instead of going down, these got bent over. And then to prevent you from torquing and twisting the um, terminal block off the PCB, they have these bosses on the side. So this comes in um, three. This is an Emphenol family. Um, and they look pretty good. Phoenix also has a version, but Emphenol has... Um, looks like a two three and four size which you know makes sense and then you just as many as you need you just um tile them together oh it actually looks like they have a couple more they have five maybe maybe more sizes this one's kind of funky um and then worth also has something similar um we did cover um and looks like oh interesting like when you get to six they actually uh I wonder if they don't have the bosses anymore. A picture of the bottom. One second. Let me see if we got the data sheet here. We do not. I'm not publish the data sheet. Looks like they probably have the bosses coming from the bottom. But if you want um, a version that, you know, what I'm used to is you would get two and three size terminal blocks and then you stack them side by side. If you want those, um, you have to go because these have again the, these have the bosses on the side you can go with te's so hold on let me look for te and we covered these on impi and they're actually quite nice too the term block series so what's nice about these is that um they have the boss underneath not to the side so you can have as many as you want side to side and if you want like if you need a really long run 
um, you know, you can just pick and place multiple next to each other. So these are, you know, these are pretty, you still need, of course, really chunky pads. And don't forget the mounting boss holes. You definitely need them. And don't make them too big. You want them to be a nice tight fit to get that mechanical strength. But I like this Chermy Block series. Both are very good. So there are actually quite a few options. The only thing is uh, to note, you know, you're going to pay more than um, than uh, through whole version. Yeah, so only use this if cost isn't a big deal because even though you're saving yourself the process of soldering the, the terminal blocks, they're going to be more expensive than probably the labor that it costs to solder them in. So good when you have, you don't want to have exposed pins. Definitely these are going to work great. Um, or you have something on the other side and you don't want uh, the terminal block to like go through and interfere with those other components. So uh, check out TE's board mount reflow terminal blocks. They do exist and they're available on Digikey. That's a great search. Where